the, the balance tonight. You know, Sabri, uh, Tejan, you go down the list. You got it seems like you got a lot from from everybody. Here tonight. Well, I really am really pleased with our team because I feel like it's growing. And then you know, we've been Zeke and Jalen and Marvin. You know, he came back and played really good Saturday today. He's really suffering from his back, but. Some other guys stepped up, made shots, but the more importantly, is guys stepped up and defended. Guys um, uh, rebounded the basketball. I felt in the second half, uh, Tejon, welcome. You're going to look at the stat sheet and see what he did offensively. But I was more impressed with the, off the rebounds that he got because I thought that helped him to get his game going, and I thought that made a lot of difference. So Bree Thompson had a nice game, did some good things. Uh, you know, Devontae uh, Hall continues to con compete and be aggressive and make a lot of things happen. Early in the first half, he made some shots that were really, really important for us uh, as we were trying to move the game along. But really pleased with the effort and the fact that we have so many guys that are contributing because this can't be just a two-man or three-man show. It's got to be about the whole team. And we have a very unselfish group. group. Zeke and Jalen are two of the most unselfish guys that can score that I've ever seen in my life. So they want other people to contribute because when they do that, it's going to make their life a lot easier. A guy like Matt Killian, uh, it seems like for the past couple weeks now, seems to, to really found uh, his comfort level there. You know, how much is, is he? Got well, to well, and I, I, I left him out. Matt Killian's done a phenomenal job. He does all the little things, and if he can get to where he'll step out and make his three-pointer like he started to do and make some three-point plays like he did, you know, and just continue to cont contribute and rebound and, and go the board and make things happen, he'll really make a difference for this bunch. I know Nichols isn't the most offensive-minded squad, but, um, you know, how much of it was effort and how much of it was other things y'all did well defensively? Well, they, they run their offense as well as any, anybody in the country. They Coach J.P. Piper does a remarkable job with what they do. I was really proud of our guys to, uh, to hold them to 25 and 26. Uh, you know, in, in two different halves because that says that we guarded. Uh, we did a really good job. Uh, last two years we've had to play in nothing but zone because we couldn't guard them man-to-man. -man. And, uh, you know, so I was really pleased with the effort on the defensive end because we guarded their stuff and did a nice job. In fact, we had struggle when they shifted and started post-up game. We had to make some adjustments, but we did. Well, it was very, it's very important for us to win at home, but it doesn't matter what a team's record is because they're your next opponent and they're the most dangerous opponent. And we've, we've already experienced that once this year with Abilene Christian coming in here and being the next opponent and us not competing and not doing what we had to do. And, and Nichols could have been just like Ab Abilene Christian. So I'm really proud of the guys. They learned from that previous experience and we can take that forward and know that we're going to compete and try to compete each and every game that we come out. Texas guest airline guy comes in and gets the, the bucket late. How good is it to, to get guys like that in the game and get them involved? Well, anytime you have a guy that's been in your program and has practiced with your team and they get in the game and make a bucket, it, it says a lot. And it's encouraging when guys try to get him shots because they see him practicing every day and that makes a big difference. And you can tell by their reaction. They were just as happy as he was to see the bucket go in. Yeah, he's, he's, he's had a great run with these kids. He's, uh, you know, Jalen. Uh, West and him being from Bossier City and Devontae Hall, I mean, they've got a really nice bond and, uh, you know, it was good for them because you need to have, you know, you need to see somebody else succeed and some, that, that means so much to uh, young people. For 19 games through the season, what are you most excited about with this particular team so far? I'm most excited that this bunch can really get a lot better. And I mean, I really believe that this team can really be special, but they're going to have to lock in and do it each and every game. You know, the next game is not till Saturday against Southeastern, but we've got to improve a lot between now and then to be the team that we need to be to be successful.